as we digitize from that uh, DG, DG, uh, DGM, it al already knows what is the, um, the base height or the terrain height at that point. Then uh, we have uh, a definition for the uh, ground definition. Ground definition, let me zoom out, is defined over the entire project area. In this case, we have a uh, field grass defini definition. And uh, or if uh, for a client, any kind of calculation with industrial sources, uh, it's a, a, a G factor of 0.2. And if we do any modeling with uh, road sources, uh, we are using uh, the TNM field grass uh, definition. Um, actually, I can maybe move this a little bit. Uh, so we move this, uh, not the object, but we move the point. Let's see, uh, move points. Let me move this one up a little bit and move this one up. All right. A little bit higher. All right. Um, then uh, we have mitigation areas. In this case, we don't have any in this uh, project, but that could be representing, for example, a uh, housing area or a forest. Next object is a barrier, and uh, after that is the embankment. Barriers defined is uh, a polyline with the uh, base elevation, the wall height, and different reflection losses for each side of the wall. The definition of left and right is defined by the first point. So in the direction of uh, your input, uh, right is, uh, is yeah, it's to the right and to the left. Yeah. Uh, by defining the constant height here, we can define if uh, a barrier goes up or it goes down in uh, elevation. Then we have uh, the berms, same thing, except that we have uh, slopes uh, to define the embankments. Then we have buildings, uh, basically we outline the, the different buildings. So we have different buildings like this building here, it's uh, 8 meter in height, 8 meter uh, then here's a 5 meter building, here we have a, uh, an 8 meter building, and so on. So these are basically just uh, uh, polylines, and again with the base height and the reflection loss. Uh, next inputs are <coughs> the um, uh, receivers. So here we have multiple receivers defined. So here's one receiver, uh, there's another one right here. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, we have an area receiver defined. This is for the, the uh, calculation of the contour map. And then uh, the, all the, the following uh, source, uh, objects are sources. So here we have the road input, road input, uh, and here the road input, uh, of course, we define a name. Uh, we define uh, what the vehicle numbers are. So here, here are different inputs and uh, vehicles, vehicle types, and speed. So here we have the speed input. Um, point sources, so here we have two point sources. Uh, in this case, one is the uh, backup generator and the other one is actually the HVAC system. So that is the one on top of the, the roof. Uh, we define a spectrum, so this could be copied uh, or pasted in from Excel uh, in dB or dBA. Uh, the input can be in third octave or an octave. Um, and we can assign what the sound power levels is for the different time ranges. Uh, let me continue. Parking lot. The parking lot, it's basically a question of the number of splay, uh, places uh, or, or spots, parking lots, times the uh, basically the park movements per hour uh, for all of these uh, parking spots. All right, so that's uh, all in this case uh, to kind of give you an, a quick overview of the, the project. Uh, there are emission, emission tables, which basically um, kind of summarize the inputs uh, for the different road sections, uh, for the industrial sources, what's the spectrum, what's the power levels. Uh, this is a relative spectrum, so the sum is basically the 106 or 100 decibels. We have the result tables, okay, so that has changed. Um, and then here we can get the contribution. Uh, in this case, for the different sources for each receiver, uh, we see also the receiver tables uh, with the receiver spectrum. And then uh, finally, the graphic plot uh, with the different results. So in this case, because I turned off the aerial, it doesn't show the aerial right now. So let me turn on the aerial. Um, so let me turn on the aerial right here and go back to the graphic plot. 
So here we have the results for these uh, receptors. And uh, we can uh, maybe add a title, um, some kind of essential project, project. And then uh, this is uh, road um, and uh, parking lot uh, generator, generator, and a generator, and HVAC, HVAC. So these are additional texts that can be uh, put on to the graphics. And uh, here you can put in a, your company logo, any kind of like legends that you may want to add to the, uh, to, to the graphics. And in this case, we have two contour maps because it's a single um, situation that we are calculating. So we have the contour map for the daytime and for the nighttime. Uh, now here, uh, it looks, uh, looks like the buildings uh, got turned off in terms of the, um, um, like the out output of the, the building objects. So what I'll do, I go to op options, uh, there's color options and object types. And under object types, we have different controls to define how uh, objects are plotted. So here I define that I want to sh um, uh, fill uh, the buildings and I want to fill them with like a light uh, blue. And if there's any auxiliary buildings, um, I want to uh, plot them as uh, gray. So I click OK and here we have all those buildings color coded. Uh, maybe a little bit easier to, to visualize that. Um, in this case, the contour lines are color coded. Um, if I go to grid map nighttime, then we have the nighttime. And here with the sound levels are defined in uh, 5 dB color codes. The chain, all of that can be changed. So we have the sheet settings. So on the sheet settings, we'll find the dimensional uh, definitions, the logo, we can load that, uh, the north arrow, if you want to show it, and what color the different texts. And here for the text, we have for each map, we can define a default text. And the color scale, we can define at what color we want, to, a dB level we want to start and how many intervals. And then here we have a color code. So again, uh, in this case, we go from left to right, uh, yeah, from right to left. So we go start at blue and going down to green. So it's the descending. And uh, we're also going descending in terms of the dB scale. All right. Um, if you want to uh, do a full color, I would usually turn off the aerial map, and uh, we can turn on, on the object types. We can turn on the output of the grid map by uh, sh filling the contour lines uh, or filling the contour areas, and uh, basically turning the contour line colors to a black. So that would be the output with contour lines and fill contour lines. This concludes uh, this uh, brief um, start or kind of like, uh, demo on the sound plan essential. I'll have a follow-up uh, with more details on the input of these sources.